It's the Come Town pre inauguration <laughs> super special. Uh, it is Wednesday, January 35th, 2006. And we are live from the new. Uh, did we re- what did we replace the Anthony Cumia studio the with? The Black Lives Black Matter. Black Lives Matter. Africa Bombada Memorial. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. In the basement of the Empire State Building. <laughs> yeah. uh, in the mail room where all the real work gets done. You Absolutely. know what I'm talking about? Minimum wage, folks. Hell yeah. You got calluses on your hand from opening and filing envelopes. Mm-hmm. You know, that's, a, that's like a real Billy Joel. Like a Black Billy Joel experience. <laughs> black Billy Joel. Yo, who's the Black Billy Joel? <laughs> uh, Billy Joel, dude. You you can't tell me Billy Joel isn't black. He has the N word pass. Actually, yeah. he's one of the four. Has he said it publicly? No, yeah. probably. Randy I would love Newman it. I would love said it. it in the I, love, song. I love. I love if one of those like old white singer songwriters that writes nothing about like the blue collar white experience wrote a song about being like a poor black person. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Randy Newman does. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, no, just like a Billy Joel song about yeah. You know, if he covered uh, what was that what was it dynamite that dynamite hack song? Where they covered oh yeah, uh, Boys in the Hood. Yeah, Boys in the Hood. Yeah, but it's yeah, Billy yeah. Joel doing it. There's some gay ass piano <laughs> instrumental. <laughs> yeah, I can't even mimic what, what what's Billy Joel. He has fucking Uptown Girl. Uptown yeah. Girl. Well, that's yeah. 80s Compton Joel, Girl. Yeah. She's never been railed out by a Jew from Long Island. <laughs> and now she's getting fucked for the first time. <laughs> that's why the- Billy Joel, that's me. <laughs> <laughs> I've written myself into this song. Billy Once Joel again, doesn't fuck I'm the hero There's no the way song. Billy Joel fucks good. Uh, I don't yeah. know. I don't know why how ugly his daughter came out. He's I, little. I can yeah, attest yeah. to that. The better you the fuck, way, the hotter your yeah, kids exactly. are. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> if you fuck well, you get a hot daughter. If not, you get Alexa, whose whose uh, journey through cutting herself has been well documented in the media. <laughs> Jesus. That's gonna be awful. She's had such a terrible life. Well, her parents Billy are Joel's Brinkley. daughter. It, 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 uh, Billy Joel's daughter, whose tribute to her through his music is naming a fucking boat after her. Oh, the Down it's like, yeah, Alexa? His daughter has struggled with her weight. He's like, I'm going to write a song after you, but you're going to be the tugboat. <laughs> 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 That's me. That's the no- Anytime yeah. dinner was ready, you'd just be like, <laughs> <laughs> Dude, you know what's hilarious? Isn't her mom Christy Brinkley? Yeah. yeah. So Famous she, model. She's, she's a shitty... She sings like Christy Brinkley, yeah. and she looks like Billy well, it's like it's like she inherited she inherited uh, 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 Billy Joel's like boxing injuries. Yeah. <laughs> These are her facial features, like cauliflower. Wait, he's a fucking... he was a boxer. Yeah, I think so. Briefly. Oh wow. Yeah. How did that get successful, Billy Joel? Like, uh, like he's Billy extremely Joel. talented. What are you yeah, talking about? All of it, what do you listen to? Billy bitch? Joel's amazing. I, I don't know. <laughs> Wait, if he, if, like, there's a you're manager. Shit, you're coming okay, from so Billy there's Joel? A, there's a manager in 1972. He's like, I got an act for you guys, okay? Earlier it's, than it's, that, dude. Billy Joel's been making music since 1937. Dude, can we turn Shark Tank off? <laughs> oh, sorry. I left Shark Tank on in the background. I was trying to get... This is what I do as I get business ideas from Shark Tank. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm going to be a father-son team trying to get on QVC. Do you guys want to go to Shark Tank? Can we pitch Come Town to Shark Tank? Yeah, of course. Like we just go, we just basically talk and we say uh, the N word sometimes. Damon, we'll give you three percent for five hundred million dollars, <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> and we make better deals with everyone else. All right, this was just for Damon. Yeah. Well, it's always the worst ideas to get money on this show. I love that it's a guy that comes on. He's like, oh, this is basically it's um it's basically a new suit and breathing apparatus for firefighters. This is estimated to save like millions of lives a year. And they're like, this is the worst idea I've ever heard in my life. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> and then the next guy's like, oh, it's fucking uh, you know like googly eyes that you can stick on your refrigerator. <laughs> And I think Mark Cuban's like uh, $80 billion for 10% of the company. <laughs> um, genius. Because all these people make trash. Yeah, you know? it's all dumb shit. The woman just makes... She's you know, like, QVC. She makes tiny furniture for your jewelry. That's like what she made her riches <laughs> off of. Mark Cuban has the Mavericks, and what is he? What is he he like stole money from the internet. He's somehow? a tech. Yeah, yeah, he's some 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 sort of tech guy. Yeah, and I everyone think. else is who's that fucking fat Canadian gay guy, the bald uh, guy. Uh, Kevin O'Leary, Mr. Wonderful. Yeah, he's a piece of shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think he's running for parliament in Canada or what? like he wants to be head of the conservatives or no. something. Yeah, when he makes deals with people, do the people get Canadian money? Yeah. Uh, Is that a secret yeah, yeah. element? He gives of the them show? loonies. Yeah, yeah. 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 Toonies loonies and loonies? Yeah. Well, fuck loonies Canada. are just frozen <laughs> bits of maple they have syrup. Cartoon right? money. <laughs> fucking, like, uh, fucking, ty- uh, fucking Looney Tunes money. It's all just right, little pieces of moose horn. 
That was good, dude. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. No, I get it. It's called it's called Loonies and Toonies, and then there's a show called Looney Tunes. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy, dude. That's, I, that's brilliant joke writing. Beach us, motherfucker. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm going to give you that joke. I'll give you 3% for... Uh, Twelve dollars on the back end. Twelve dollars. <laughs> I just want to go around making like, Shark Tank deals all the time. You know, on like the train and on the bus. Weren't we talking about something before Shark Tank? Uh, Nick has an invention. We're talking about Billy Joel, right? Yes. Oh yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do have an. I, well, my idea, my business idea, but it would require licensing shit from you know DC, and I can't do that. No. Yeah, you can't just say uh, my idea can't be like oh Batman stuff. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I just use Batman stuff. <laughs> ben, the uh, oh our guest today is Ben. We can't say his last name because he's worried about people finding him. <laughs> Benny, uh, hello. Yeah, you yeah. can say it. It's fine. Benjamin Franklin. He's yeah, in ben. Hezbollah. Yeah. So. You can name, say it. You can say it. Yeah. His name's Benjamin Franklin. Uh, ben Dreyfus is here. I thought I had a good <laughs> reason. It's not not to offend you guys. No, yeah. it's just it's not actually reason. Ben Dreyfus. No, who's yeah. Ben Dreyfus? He's a piece of shit. We'll just leave it. At Louis. That. He's no. Louis, Louis, Louis Dreyfus. He's uh, what's his name? Son. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Richard Dreyfus. Richard Dreyfus' son. son. Yeah. He's he he for like Slate or something. Yeah. And he's he's uh, a monster. Hilarious. He's disgusting. Uh, There's no better celebrity son uh, than Chet. Ben O'Brien is the <laughs> guest. <laughs> Benny. What's up? Hello. Are you uncomfortable with us? No, 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 no. You can say it. I was more. It's just not it's, in the SEO. Yeah, it's just like you he's know. ashamed of the show. I'm ashamed. Of, <laughs> yeah. I'm not ashamed of the show. He's a diehard cum boy, by the way. My man, my I man's a, been on from day one. I'm a, I am a, a real diehard. I yeah. often have to uh, close the window as people walk by. That happens yeah. to me all the time. <laughs> but Ben's got his own brand that predates Come Town. Is very successful. Uh, very funny. Wham City. Wham mm -hmm. City Bros. Mm -hmm. So we'll just endorse that or plug it. I don't know. Yeah, there that was go. the first time. That's uh, the live read that I they paid put, for. Yeah. Yeah. That was seven thousand dollars. They put me on. Uh, yeah, Ben made me have my t TV debut. I was on Adult Swim for one second. Oh that's yeah, right. that's in right. You and Dan. Yeah, in the You're background a was, uh, of think, a YouTube video uh, they aired at four a.m. I think on Adult I gave Swim. you the credit. What did I give you the credit of? Stupid fat, stupid cop. <laughs> 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 yeah. Yeah. Stupid fat. Everyone else like cop one, yeah. cop two. It should just be no fat, stupid. It should be, it should like be a that, guy yeah. who ate the better time slot. Yeah. Should be your credit on Adult Swim. <laughs> you guys, uh, wait. You, so you've been on a, you were on Adult Swim for two seconds. Have like you had any other TV credits? I'm going to be on IFC for actually a, a good amount of time at late at night. Again. The incredibly oh, the fat Mateo channel, thing? guys. <laughs> no, the is. Fucking cool channel, <laughs> 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 bitch. That's actually what it is. Is the is fucking cool channel. <clears throat> um, anyway, so yeah, Benny's here. He's visiting. Uh, We're actually gonna get a big fat steak after the. That's this. right. That's oh, a, where that's, are you how, going? that's how we Peter bond. Luger. We literally are going to Peter Luger. Really? Can I, I come? Exactly the burger is good. Can I come? We made Rezzy's for two, man. This is me and Ben's thing. Oh man. All right, we so me and Nick are going to go... Uh, we can get steaks next time together, guys. Whatever, dude. We'll do some other cool shit, dude. I, yeah. want, I don't, don't want to get steaks with yeah, you. Yeah, we're going to the batting cage. We're going to Chelsea Piers after this, and we're what? not fucking inviting you ever. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> You're never Because I have a thing with my friend be from before. Yeah. <laughs> That's not fair. It's totally fair. I want to come to Chelsea Piers. You're not allowed to have friends. We've already <laughs> talked about this. <laughs> yeah, we're the only friends we're allowed we're to only have. only allowed to be <laughs> friends with each other and <laughs> no one else. That definitely was You didn't like teach Ben any school. of our songs, did you? Of course not. Okay, good. Actually, oh, that was, <laughs> <laughs> you we're, 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 we're watching, watching Band of Brothers last night. We were watching Band of Brothers yeah. last night, and there's like a scene, you know, how Ross plays drill instructor Ross. Yeah, yeah. And uh, 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 Rachel. Easy company. <laughs> you have to do better, easy company. Company uh, Nazis so, are bad. That's right. my wrong. He, uh, Juice, did you kill Nicole? <laughs> <laughs> Juice, Juice, <laughs> we were on a break. Uh, <laughs> so he fucking oh, uh, yeah. There's a scene where they're all running up the mountain. He's like, "We're running curry again," and they fucking run up the mountain and uh, and then they all start singing a song. And then Ross just looks all dejected because he didn't learn the song. <laughs> How the army boys learned yeah. a song without me. <laughs> you guys can't learn songs without me. <laughs> I don't think I have a fucking career. Has he been anything since French? David Schwimmer? Yeah. I think he's like old Hollywood money. He's like really? a Beverly Hills high school kid. Yeah. Oh, is he? Yeah. Do you just know fun facts about every, David Schwimmer? I don't even. I make up. Yeah, do, uh, do Rachel now. Yeah, yeah. What? He, no, Adam Greek. has a trapper keeper at home filled with pictures of David. It's a Schwimmer. Lisa Frank <laughs> trapper keeper, <laughs> and it's uh, yeah. I'm crazy for Ross. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, Just yeah. getting bullied in middle school for Ross being your favorite character. Yeah, you really I never, I never Ross. watched it. Everyone else is like, Joey's the best. Joey's tight. He yeah. eats and he fucks. 
I do like Joy for that reason, actually, now that I think about My it. My Israeli cousins would always say, Adam, you're such a Chandler. <laughs> <laughs> I had no idea what that meant. Chandler My, sucked, dude. Chandler was so gay. And basically, all of them are trash. None Chandler the, was the snarky Joey one. eats and fucks. Joey's good. He's just dumb. <laughs> That's his whole character. His character is that he's retarded, right? No, he eats and fucks. He he's fucks not retarded. He's Italian. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> this was before it's a very being similar dumb meant you were autistic. This, right. is, right, this right, was right. when you could just be dumb and la- be laughed at for being yeah, dumb. Yeah. But he oh, fucked that was like, again. Wouldn't you be fun and dumb? Now it's a medical condition. Yeah. You can be dumb that. and fuck and be cool. Uh, what if this guy's Shark Tank idea is just hot women? <laughs> yeah, no, I, I would love to just... Yeah. <laughs> I would just love to go to John and be like, it's women, you pay to fuck. <laughs> <laughs> just pimping. <Yeah. laughs> just like, I've got my cousin and she'll fuck anyone. I think I told the story... I've got a couple of chippies. I told <laughs> the story already on the podcast. When I was in community college, I took like a marketing class. There was these oh, two... Yeah. Yeah, there's two dudes that were like, basically, the idea is it's a 24-hour beer, weed, and cigarettes delivery. <laughs> <laughs> and you guys were underage. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, nah, they were probably like 25. Oh, uh, okay. Which makes it worse, even. Yeah, yeah. You're 25 years old, and you're still like, yeah, weed. <laughs> yeah. Dude. I got to incorporate weed into my homework assignments. Being, yeah, dude. <laughs> I love fucking smoking It's like making bones. a bong in ceramic, ceramics class, trying to get it. <laughs> That's actually tight. Did you ever yeah. do that? Could you do Everybody that? did that. I didn't do it, but people did it all the time. I never made a bong. I made a G-bong. You guys want to make a G-bong bong and get fucked up? Yeah, I get yeah. so high. Hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah, let's go. I love making bongs out of fucking trash. <laughs> Yeah. That's all G bongs are. Just right, like, yeah, you just put an old milk milk carton in a in a bathtub. You yeah, can use anything, dude. Gatorade bottles, any yeah. Gatorade bottles. What's the dumbest shit you've ever smoked out of? Uh, is it an Altoid tin, probably. Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> yeah, we used to make pipes out of just like pens. Tin, remember tin the foil. pens? Yeah, the tin foil. The tin foil is pipe. basically jail. And then it's like, yeah. you know, yeah. I mean, you fucking you make dumb shit out of dumb shit, and then you want like. The biggest prizes for you are ramen and Doritos. <laughs> right, right. You're, you're, you're trading it with other people. If you're lucky. You ever meet like kids when you're like in elementary school that smoked? <laughs> they like smoked Cigarettes? way too early. Yeah, there yeah. was kids that were like eight that were smoking. You're like, no. what are you doing? What are you talking about? <laughs> really? In fucking uh, yeah, Montgomery yeah. County? Yeah, like one or two. Crazy. Yeah. Definitely kids that smoke cigarettes. That's and he hilarious. smoked with cigarettes. Yeah. There were dudes like dropping acid and fucking in like seventh grade at my school. You went that's, to like a weird That's, hillbilly, that's yeah. a little older. It was though. hillbilly though. It was hillbilly yeah, school. Yeah, you went to hillbilly school, right? There were kids fucking years. in my seventh grade. I remember hearing about it and just being absolutely shocked. Dude, exactly. I was I in was, gym. I got a, a fr- <laughs> I remember. I got <laughs> sad and afraid. I remember exactly yeah. what happened. I was in gym. We just played basketball. I was feeling good about myself. And there's just like fucking <laughs> black kids on the side. This one kid has an awesome afro. And they're literally just like making fun of some girl because they all fucked her, and they're like, and they're like, oh, shut up, y'all. And I was just like, they're like, yeah, she sucked my dick. And I was like, what the fuck? And I'm like eavesdropping, <laughs> they're like, hey, yo, he listening? <laughs> and they just made fun of me. I was like, huh? I just left in a huff because I was so fucking scared. That I remember gonna catch me listening to them fucking talking about fucking. I remember two kids fucked the summer after sixth grade, and I still to this day remember their first and last name, both of them. Say them right now. Did you watch? <laughs> no. Say them right now. No, I'm not going to say, say the first name. It was a kid named Eldon and a girl named Alicia. And now their last names? Uh, the last uh, Alicia Keys. <laughs> yeah. mm-hmm. Eldon Baylor. Eldon, El- El- Eldon Campbell, the old center for the Los Angeles Elton. Lakers. Okay, yes. Yeah, Elton then, Brand. Yeah. Elton Brand. Um, when I was a kid, I was going through my mom's uh, underwear drawer. I can't remember what I was looking for. Oh, but I remember. I, the, one, the second one. But I found... Uh, I know the underwear drawer. I found uh, I fuck your mom. what I thought was a condom. <laughs> And I freaked out, but it was just like one of those, <laughs> one of those eggs legs, you know, those like, oh yeah, 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 it was yeah, just yeah, plastic. Yeah. But I was such an idiot that I thought, how old were you? A condom was like a plastic Biggest egg that you <laughs> yeah, put over yeah. your dick. <laughs> that you melt over <laughs> your dick. <laughs> I like threw it. Oh God. <laughs> I think I was probably seven. <laughs> Did your mom fuck? Yeah. Nice. We found my my friend's mom's vibrator one time. I don't know why we were going through their shit, but he found his. I was watching him pull the vibrator out of her like nightstand, and his mom was f- so hot. Dude. <laughs> and he's like, "What the fuck is this?" And he was like, "No." <laughs> no. He was like horrified, and we were like, "Yes." <laughs> I was in your mom's pussy. Let me smell it. He's like, "Get out! Everyone, get out right now!" <laughs> that is an emergency yeah. for a kid with a hot mom. <laughs> He's yeah. like, 
She's like, Zach, why is there a bunch of saliva all over my vibrator? <laughs> all my friends were over. Yeah, why does it smell like gushers? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Why is there that, that candy spray and air that, wrappers? That's, uh, that's such a funny visual, like a bunch of like 12-year-olds sucking off like a huge dildo <laughs> because they're like, it was on your mom's <laughs> pussy. Yeah, yeah. It's not gay because it touched your mom's yeah. pussy. <laughs> <laughs> just giving every just taking giving turns. Dude, I, 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 taking dude, and then they're just sucking each other's spit off of it. Yeah. <laughs> I had a manager at a pizza restaurant I worked at, and uh, he told me this story. He was like, when he was in junior high, him and his friend uh, would put socks over each other's dick and then jack each other off. What the and he's, no, that, like, no, that's not well, he's like, it's not gay because there's socks involved. <laughs> that's uh, <laughs> No, that just makes it gay with a foot no. fetish That's element. That's so much gayer, actually. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So if you do that, gay. if you if two guys yeah. jerk each other off, but they're both thinking yeah. about women, that's called parallel sex. Play. <laughs> yeah. you know, really what is. me and my friends do is we get those uh, those like it really those, is. those, uh, those sticks that have the dinosaur head on the top. That you oh can, yeah, the bite. They make it bite with their claw, <laughs> and then we jerk each other off from a distance. Yeah. That's I totally actually fun. what I do is I climb into one of those claw machines at Dave and Buster's. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You guys have to get the claw right over my dick and pull yeah, it up yeah, and yeah. down and it's not remember, gay dude do you because it's that? so hard to do <laughs> yeah, because it's so difficult so it's an accomplishment do you remember that thing the, <laughs> Yo, can we get one of those with a fucking pocket pussy on the top <laughs> and try and jerk each other off I that really, actually sounds hilarious that's, that's actually a mini game in the next Mario party. I really <laughs> think you guys should do a, a one where you're around a table and you're all jacking off under the table while, while, yeah, you're, come trying town? To, while you're trying to have that's, a conversation I'm pretty sure that's what Texas Hold'em is <laughs> yeah. I've never played but based on the name no that that's that's true. Yeah, yeah, when you go all in, that's when you just come in everyone yeah. else's mouth. Yeah. Do you remember uh, that thing, the stranger, which was like if you sit yeah, on your yeah, hands yeah, and then it goes and then you numb, jerk and someone you, else's you, off on the bus? You, well, you, yeah, that's you go, yeah, you go yeah, outside yeah. and you find a stranger. You, you find a stranger. <laughs> yeah. You suck his yeah. and he fucks you in the ass. <laughs> <laughs> well, you give him a thumbs up with that numb hand. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, you don't even feel that thumb going <laughs> You don't out. feel that well, thumb, <laughs> that gay ass thumbs up. Did you ever stranger yourself? No. I could never get it to work. I was just good I enough with my imagination to pretend that I was, you know. What, yeah, what, what, yeah. See, I would just normally go numb anytime I had an erection. Anyway. <laughs> I started having flashbacks, and then I would pass out. No, not out emotionally. And, yeah, 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 you had bad no, circulation. Yeah. I would black out, and then you know, wake up. And you had just what such high blood pressure as a kid. <laughs> <laughs> the second you got an erection, yeah. you just ate che- Cheetos and Slim Jims. Yeah. Oh man, just pull <laughs> Tony Soprano. I one time after I watched Road Trip, I don't know if I told this story, I put a candle in my ass. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. You know why that's so funny is because you already look like a pumpkin. <laughs> you just made yourself a jack-o'-lantern. <laughs> yeah, I lit it at the end. <laughs> Walking around. Whenever there's a blackout, I'm like, I can do this, Mom. <laughs> I know a trick. Ejaculate. Lanterning. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Um, but Jack, yeah. A jack off lantern. <laughs> it just hurt my ass. I didn't like it too much. That's weird. Yeah. That you didn't love it. You got to light the candle. Why did you do that? Because Stifler put stuff in his ass and he beat that's, and he gets oh, you wanted Stifler uh, to like you. No, I wanted to come. I wanted to come the way I was Stifler doing came. it because I wanted Stifler from Road Trip to like <laughs> no, me. No, wait, dude. Stifler from was Road Trip. Stifler came hard as shit in Road Trip. It would be great if that was like one of those like uh, uh, preteen epidemics that the local news covered. <laughs> that it's like this movie is dangerous. <laughs> Teens are shoving candles in their asses and the paraffin wax melts and they're getting paraffin poisoning. You know what's funny? I fucking. I didn't even realize how important the movie Road Trip was to me beating off as a young child. The first time I ever beat off, I was thinking about the fat black woman yeah. from Road Trip. I think I told this story. Wait, the the she was like a stand-up. What's her name? Was she? No, not Lou Leslie Jones. <laughs> yeah. No, it was just Stav some fat... jacks off to Leslie Jones. No, no, I don't. <laughs> but I've never the only Les- person Stav's attracted to. <laughs> I never beat off to. Is Le- the only person I can come thinking about is Leslie Jones. <laughs> yeah. Just uh, her screaming. No, it was a fucking... It was a sexy, fat black girl from Road Trip. The guy that... The one the nerd fucks... You remember that in like the black for? I don't remember house? Road Trip. I love I don't remember Road Trip, it dude. at all. I beat off. I remember so Euro Trip more Road than trip. I remember Road Trip. Oh, Road Trip was uh, Tom Green. Oh yeah, puts yeah, the yeah. Mouse yeah. In we had to get mouth. there's that Boston Austin confusion. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. remember that movie now. Keep Boston. Because he accidentally weed. makes a tape of him, and there's so many exactly. tape elements in those movies. Right, right, yeah. right. People that are was, always recording things. Yeah, Tom Green's it moment. Was, 
It was before you could just text the fucking sex tape. Yeah. Have you guys seen Freddy Got Fingered recently? No. It's, it's a good. masterpiece. It's it was good. a great movie. It's incredible. It's very good. I I really thought that it wasn't it was going to be one of those movies that I liked when I was younger that was just retarded when I grew, you know, get old. like uh, a lot of movies are like that, but yeah. Yeah. it is it I cannot believe they got money from a studio to make that movie. Yeah, it's really yeah. stupid. It's just it's awesome. I can't believe that they meant like Getting fingered was literally getting fingered. Oh, yeah. Yeah. When I watched that, I was like, oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> Put it, it in the title. Yeah. Innuendo. Yeah, yeah. 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 I mean, Freddie gets so fucked stupid. in his mouth, in parentheses, <laughs> by a penis. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> yeah, yeah, all those comedy movies, they would release a movie, and then they would release, like, the special un- unrated right, yeah, edition. Yeah, right. There's more titties and yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The director's um, cut. The, there was a lot of... Uh, seriously, go back and check out Roach. There's plenty of titties. Uh, I would like to see if that... Fil- I want to watch the scene that I first beat off to. I want to watch Forgetting Sarah Marshall, but with 95% more penis. Yeah. <laughs> a di- Just, special unrated director's Jason cut. Jason Segel's got a nice That piece. was when they made comedies, like, feature. Comedy features. Like, there were, like, a bunch that came out every year. I, don't, I can't still even, do that. Nobody just... Nobody watches Just no one watched. Sully, dude. That movie was hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> do you see that? Yeah. That shit was ben so funny. Ben just saw fucking... Uh, ben, can you edit this? Can you take Sully the movie? Yeah. And then put in the monster from Monsters, Inc.? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Just replace... Replace in every scene. Do you yeah. Think? Yes. <laughs> Ben's good at computers and shit. Yeah, yeah, we can do that. We can um, do that. No, I mean, you guys are. Yeah, yeah. That no, fucking we Minority Report shit was so funny. That we, I oh, that pee so good. my pants. Yeah, I think about funny. that from time to time. That shit is so good. Yeah, was so for real, check out we, Wham City. They're funny. We shit. added a, uh, a second ending to it where Robbie edits himself into uh, When Harry Met Sally, just, <laughs> yeah. the, just the orgasming scene. <laughs> yeah. And all it does is he just, it just like cuts, it's like a cutaway to him like looking like confused. <laughs> <laughs> and then it just keeps cutting back to him and he's just <laughs> Wait, to Is it. he in the restaurant? You shoot it in cats? Um, or do you green? No, no, it's green screen. Yeah, he, oh, just okay. gre- he did it really shitty, which is yeah, part of the joke. Yeah, so good. I always wanted to do like redo that scene, but it's a woman actually trying to fake a realistic orgasm. Right, right. Yeah, cause because she has realistic. like the most shampoo commercial orgasm in that fucking scene. Yeah. yeah, and he's supposed to be like, "Wow, I guess they really can fake orgasm." Right, right, right. Got, there's got to be grunting and blinking yeah. weird. And <laughs> Fuck my ass. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> that was the bit. I guess. Yeah. I think we mentioned that on. Another I think so. Well, you did. I Whatever. Know, I've We're, listened to every episode. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, just, just let whenever, me just ask me. Whenever I fucking, whenever I don't know if we talked about something, I go to Ben immediately. Ben is the the my, maybe one of the foremost cum historians. It's true. It's true. I remember it all um, of all time. So there's fuck. There's a there's a tweet going around right now. Nice. Amber's nice. showing us hate mail. No, no, it's it's, the, it's a it's a nice tweet about come town I get are we live right now guys please yeah, do live. me a favor don't ever mention the podcast on twitter even in a positive context because i'll find a way to feel bad about it <laughs> nah uh, fuck yeah. nick fuck what nick we says have to protect nick's feelings yeah that's the that's why i do this we show. need to mobilize all of twitter. this is supposed to be a safe space for <laughs> the internet is supposed to be a safe space for <laughs> yeah um stormfront is supposed to be a safe space <laughs> for people like me and then you i'm gonna go i'm gonna go on stormfront and complain about that i'm gonna post for a couple Couple weeks and as soon as someone criticizes my friend my friend we're max complain about how it's supposed to be a safe space for white men <laughs> my friend no max allowed to criticize me <laughs> that's so yeah. good they, how dare you say that <laughs> just posting pictures of myself naked <laughs> flaccid dick yeah, you yeah. smiling for some reason <laughs> <laughs> looking like shit what, what do, do you guys, guys think? think of my powerful white body <laughs> <laughs> remember i represent all of us <laughs> my friend was sending me um, screenshots of like the boards on Stormfront but like having the dudes having just the most inane conversations there was like a, a thread about the weather yeah. one of them's <laughs> like yeah I like it when it's hot but I also like it when it's cold like I went to Florida and it was too hot for me but then I just went in the pool and then it was okay it's yeah. just like all these fucking <laughs> Nazis my favorite, my favorite <laughs> Stormfront <laughs> thread ever was somebody went to see like either the Golden Compass or like one of those Narnia movies yeah, I yeah. it was one of those bullshit fantasy movies that came out in like 2009 
And there was one guy that was like, you know, I was really enjoying it until they, f- and then I don't want to, I mean, it's, it's hard R N word. <laughs> yeah. He's like, he's like, until the goddamn N word centaurs showed up. <laughs> <laughs> and that was his big gripe with the movie is they made the centaurs black. <laughs> and he's like, this liberal Hollywood bullshit. I'm just trying to watch an extremely not gay movie about magic <laughs> and fairies. <laughs> I was on a what? message board or a, like a Nazi message board because I just always am. Yeah. 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 I'm well, the half admin. Of, half but- of the forums for bald men are Nazi. <laughs> yeah, no, it's true. And uh, they have great tips about yeah, cutting yeah. your hair. And <laughs> yeah, it's true. Is anyone on Propecia? <laughs> <laughs> Can I just get a bunch of tiny swastikas tattooed on my scalp until it looks like hair? But they were talking about Simpsons and trying to just figure out whether or not it was okay to watch it. Because yeah. they're like, they're yellow. They're Chinese. Yeah, yeah, well, they're yellow, but I think that I think that means they're just white, but I can't. But... <laughs> what do they do about Lenny and Carl? Lenny's the black one, right? Lenny's, no, Lenny's the white one. Carl's the black one. Carl's the black, black one. one. I always confuse them. Yeah, because the white ones goes Carl. Yeah, true. Yeah, yeah. What do they What do they do about Carl? Uh, I I I don't. Know. I think they probably ask. hate crime him. Yeah, yeah, Carl, Lou, and then I think those are the only black characters. Oh no, sorry, Doctor Hibbert, Bleeding, Hibbard, gums, uh, Bleeding gums, gums, Murphy. Yeah, there's plenty. Of, there's plenty of POC representation on. Yeah, on the Simpsons. Apu. That hilarious. Yeah, yeah. Barney's Apu. trans technically. Apu is kind of like Apu. problematic. It's so funny how racist <laughs> yeah, Apu yeah, yeah, is. Yeah. That's like, pretty problematic. Do, 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 do. <laughs> it's a white dude doing. It. He's just grandfathered <laughs> yeah. in. I know. Yeah, no one can criticize Hank Azaria. Yeah. It's tough. Also, the the Chinese doctor or whatever. Or what is that doctor? Doctor Nick. Yeah, Doctor. He's Nick. like Eastern European. Yeah, oh, is he yeah. Like, I thought Which is thought he was fair Chinese. game. You can do yeah, anything. He's you like want Albanian with or something. Oh, okay, good. Fuck Al- yeah. Albania. The Mexican. Fuck bee. Albania. Fuck Eldis. Yeah, the Mexican B. That's based on like this lobster character or something that was on one of those like Mexican. On U- you know? Univision. Yeah. yeah, Univision is the most. Race like <laughs> if a white person was behind that, it would be the biggest. It would be a hate crime. <laughs> yeah, it's so funny. It's just Mexicans and big, big, big fake, big, fake titties, titties. Which yeah, I don't understand awesome. how that's Midgets. racist though. It's a channel for Mexican people produced in Mexico. <laughs> but they're like <laughs> they have like they're like you're just watching something diverse and you're like this is the most racist thing. Yeah, I've ever yeah, seen. yeah. <laughs> dude, no, dude, NBA it's is like, so racist. It makes it, they look like they all are in like Mexican face. Like every woman is just like it feels racist to watch it. I don't know. That's all I'm saying. Anybody gonna say anything here or No, we're all waiting to go to the bathroom. I gotta piss real fucking bad and Adam oh. just went in there. You guys can't wait? Oh, he's getting coffee. Well that's why that's the problem. Yeah, she, I can't wait. <laughs> she can go away. Me and Ben will just chat for th- that's like fine. a couple of seconds. Nah, I'll stay here. So uh <laughs> I I've, I've been watching a, a shit ton of what I like to call the Entenmann's Donut Goatee Seagal era films. <laughs> yeah, we watched one anything, last night. Anything post-2000... Dude, let me suck off some coffee. Probably 2011 or 12. Okay. So the last four years of Seagal movies. And he's never been, like, uh, particularly an active guy. But, you know, like... Uh, under ch- siege, Jerry, he's in good shape. He's, he's in, like- No, he's in Above the Law. First of all, p- what people don't realize about Seagal is that when Above the Law came out, he was already, like, 34 years old. Right. Mm-hmm. He wasn't a young guy. So his first movie, he was right. already, you know, like, getting on. And yeah. you can see his hairline's fucked up in that movie. You yeah, know, yeah, it's yeah, all, yeah. like, thin, you know, in the front. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then in Hard to Kill, his hairline's fixed. And, you know, uh, he's a little bit fatter. And he just got progressively fatter through throughout his entire career. Oh, come on, dude. It's part of the fucking podcast, Amber. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, that was, was back in the day when you didn't have to be cut. Yeah. Well, now he's 65 <laughs> years old. And in, in the last, he's in his 60s. His body he's still, sucks. He's still making movies where it's like, we need to send our best special forces guy. <laughs> and then he spends half the movie in a chair. Yeah. He like, refuses to get up. So we watched last night uh, Sniper Special Ops. And they, there's no colon. It's Sniper Special Ops. <laughs> <laughs> and that's because, he just wanted that's because the Tom Berenger Sniper series are not related to Sniper Special Ops. Uh-huh. And he does maybe five seconds of sniping in the movie. <laughs> it's right in the beginning. He refuses to take his sunglasses off while looking through the sniper rifle so he's wearing these dumb fucking like snowboarding sunglasses while like looking down this rifle and then when they show the enemies in the reticle 
they're like five feet away. <laughs> they're, they're taking up the entire scope. So he's probably, yeah, like 10, five feet away from these guys. So awesome. And, and missing. We, <laughs> you know, like, yeah, I don't know why yeah, yeah. they let him miss. For you suspense. think he refuses to take it off. You're saying you think Steven Seagal, the actor, yeah. is like, no, absolutely not. I'm not getting out of this chair. I'm not taking off yes, my sunglasses. Yes, 100%. I guarantee you that's what it is. Because <laughs> yeah. right? the thing about all these movies is, is they're all produced by uh, Steamroller Productions, which he owns. What, that's like a Chinese. Oh no, God! He, no, Steven he Seagal's that? company. He owns it with some uh, like roller? Indonesian guy or something. It's yeah, like when you work at a restaurant, voltage. you have to wait on the owner of the restaurant. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, so you know all these people. And then he brings all these fucking old fucks out of retirement. So it's like you know like Rob Van Winkle, like dying wrestlers. Rob, yeah, the, it's all like uh, yeah. retired WWE. Really? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, so I gotta check this. Out. Was, <laughs> in Sniper Special Dam. Ops, you know it's oh, like RVD. RVD is in it. Yeah, Sniper Special Ops. He's like the lingo guy. I love it. He's yeah. He's playing like uh, you know they're part of like this like special ops team, and they're all like in the the minimum age is fifty one years, old. <laughs> <laughs> and they're in like Afghanistan somewhere, of course. And then they show their commander, who's a major, and because it he's wouldn't make colonel. sense, yeah, he's a colonel, and it wouldn't make sense if he was like you know Young. their age. So they have like an eighty seven year old man. <laughs> In army clothes, yes. really? He's fucking decrepit old man oh, in an awesome. army uniform, and he's like, "Well, I don't know if we can get up that mountain by sunrise." I had a divining rod tells me there's gold in them hills, you know, and it just, it just doesn't make any sense. Yeah, yeah, it's so. I mean, Seagal is like he literally puts such minimum effort into the action. Like the way he fires the gun is like I can't yeah. even describe it. Uh, yeah, like he just sort of lays. Podcast. Like, yeah. yeah, he's just like limp wristedly <laughs> fire the gun, like not even looking where he's shooting. Yeah. <laughs> no, there's uh oh, there's so one good. scene in Sniper Special Ops where he's working some radio and he's just sort of lazily pointing the gun at the window next to him in case anyone comes because it's understood that he never really has to aim the gun. <laughs> oh yeah, his partner also gets shot and he needs to drag him away. It's clear that he's like connected to like some sort of wire. Yeah. And like you see and him Steve, pulling the Steve's guy but he's just like touching, literally he's just, just touching his, his shoulder. Yeah. And then the fucking body moves across <laughs> the ground as to all the <laughs> <laughs> we were, oh, I'm That's so really jealous! I, 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 I literally that. almost peed my pants. Yeah, oh, I, I I yeah. anything, anything post 2012 is like this. And he's got it's one awesome. of those. Oh, like, and he talks like a black person now. Yeah, well, that started with Glimmer Man, and it's progressed where now he talks like a slave. Uh, he's like a. <laughs> he's, like, he's, he's, just, like, he's a jazz he's man now. Uh, now. Yeah. Oh hell. You know these motherfuckers don't <laughs> don't have patience. He's Prop me. Joe. He talks oh, like God. Prop <laughs> Joe. Yeah. I got a proposition. Yeah, well, yeah. well, I, I, I already told these motherfuckers if they want any of my business, they're gonna have to come around here, come on, cut me off, cut me off a little something that. Then, uh, that's you know, so maybe we'll good. we'll maybe do a little mission here in a minute. He should play like, a black no, guy Steven, in the next. Yeah, yeah, he, he could. Well, he, he plays yeah. a black guy in Glimmer Man. It's like for whatever reason, he stops being Chinese and he's black in that movie. <laughs> it is a cool type of older black guy, like the guy, the older black. We were talking about this last night. The older black guy that's really into Asian shit, oh, which yeah. is sort of the the original anime nerd. He would have been the a, precursor. Yes, yes, yeah. It's the precursor right, to the that. Precursor. You know, like nineteen the when, John the yeah Bath in the seventies when kung fu movies blew up. Like there was yeah, a bunch yeah, of yeah. black guys that Absolutely. got into martial Wu-Tang. arts. Wu-Tang. Wu-Tang. That's the kind of the birth of black nerds. Yeah, Wu Tang is responsible for a lot a of black lot nerd of black culture. Nerd. Yeah, yeah, for sure. For sure. Um, but yeah, so he he has just become one of those older black men that's into Asian stuff. Yeah, but eventually, I, I want to see him do a full blackface movie. Yeah, <laughs> I think if anyone's gonna do it, it's gonna be him. Uh, well, there's the, what's on the uh, the the queue is uh, Asian Connection, which I want to watch with him. <laughs> Uh, what a fucking retarded name! Yeah. Yeah. I wonder what the connection is yeah. in that. What, it, what it's, it's referring the connection to. Connection between Steven Seagal and the dialysis machine. <laughs> <laughs> it's the fucking uh, stint in his arm. Yeah, they go like through his like special ops dossier, like on the computer, and there's a picture of him young. And we were joking around last night. It's about, from like, a movie. It's from another movie. Yeah, from, like from, thirty years. Yeah, ago. it's from like yeah, the fucking yeah. It's uh, all, the same all, universe. All, yeah, They're all in the same in, universe. In the cover for Sniper Special Ops, they've just photoshopped his fat. 
fat head on someone else's body. Yes. As poorly as they possibly oh, can. Oh, man. That's so I love awesome. his yeah. fat head. No, they just, they fucking pump these movies out. The other one we, uh, we watched the other night, A Good Man. <laughs> <laughs> That's barely a title. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's all three words, yeah. too. Yeah. A Good Man, yeah. Where he plays. Does he play the good man? <laughs> yeah, he's the good man. Of course. <laughs> and so, basically, the plot is this. He's like... Uh, some kind of ex special. It's always ex special force. <laughs> right, right. And he's living in uh, he's living in Bucharest, and uh, <laughs> he uh, you know just has an apartment, and he's been tracking this uh, weapons dealer that got away when he murdered all these people that killed his partner. They have a flashback scene in the beginning where you see him sneaking into some building, just fatly going around corners <laughs> while his while his special ops partner, who looks like a fucking homeless person. <laughs> this guy's like, again, 57, 60 years old, you know, emaciated, <laughs> shitty, like fucking, you know, like uh, 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 like Civil War general. Like, Fu Manchu type yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, that kind of shit, you know, like, uh, like McClellan. That's what he yes, was like, yes. you know? <laughs> and, he, you know, and uh he's like, We gotta get into the we the, you got two tangos on your left, you know. Yeah. This homeless guy in the woods on Overwatch and Steven Seagal and then like a thing blows up and some girl dies. And so he's upset, so he wants to go find this weapons dealer who's a Chinese guy. And he's in Bucharest and he's like killing these Russian gangsters and uh his calling card when he kills them is he leaves some incense on the ground and then oh. just scribbles some bullshit in Chinese. Oh. And uh, and so oh, God. There, his neighbor, who's this woman, who's like having trouble getting into her apartment one day and has like a young girl with her, uh, he's like, need a little help, you know? And then he just breaks into her apartment for her or whatever. <laughs> and then they're in there and he's like, you know, like you know, your kid's nice or whatever. And she's like, yes, uh, I love my sister. And then you see, like, that's supposed to be, like, you let you know, like, yeah, her pussy isn't ruined. That's her yeah. sister. <laughs> it's not her daughter. And then Seagal's like, your sister, huh? <laughs> you know? like, they make yeah. these young actors. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> that's what the implication is. And then so, uh, and then the plot gets really fucking convoluted where, awesome. yeah, the, so the, the uh, arms dealer is doing a deal with the Russian mob who he's not really interested in, but the Russian mob owns the neighbor and the sister sister because their their her dad owed them money so Gosh. when the dad died she had to become a bartender in their strip club not a stripper not then, not a whore not a whore not yeah. a prostitute they just make her be a bartender <laughs> she's pure and, but then she still has a, a really nice apartment yeah, you know yeah. and the uh, russian mafia sounds pretty reasonable right dude. yeah <laughs> so the russian mafia loses all their money or something and they owe money to the arms dealer oh, and God. so instead of giving him the money they're like we will give you the girl instead so and she's their slave? Their slave, basically. But the <laughs> arms dealer, like, I don't know why he would want a girl. Yeah. He's like, no, it's $2 million. Yeah. I don't want just some fucking middle-aged Romanian woman, you know? And then he was like, he's like, deal. And then they bring the little girl instead mm. of, like, the main one. And he's like, well, I guess I can sell her to a pedophile. <laughs> so he lines up a sale with a pedophile. <laughs> And then the pedophile shows up. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And then There's three human transactions <laughs> yeah, yeah, in this yeah. movie. <laughs> yeah. And then uh, Seagal shows up with this other guy. He does this thing now where he brings a younger martial artist in, and they do the majority of the ass kicking. <laughs> right, and right. then, so, Seagal does barely nothing. Seagal meets the younger guy, and he's like, all right, I'll help you, but you got to do everything my way. <laughs> and then the guy does everything for himself. Right, Seagal right, does right, literally right. nothing. <laughs> yeah. so they save the guy, or they save the girl, and then at the end of the movie, the neighbor... It was just like, you know, basically like, well, I can't thank you enough. And then he just fucks her. <laughs> he just fucks the woman. Even though there's been no romantic connection between them. <laughs> He's older than her by 40 years. <laughs> they make these poor young actresses. I was going to say how much fucking never going to get yeah. any other Well, the fucking scene is him fully clothed while she's naked and he's just touching her body. <laughs> really? Yeah, he doesn't. He's, he's still wearing his sunglasses. <laughs> God damn, that's and that's so that's awesome. Steven Seagal's definition of a good man. Yeah, yeah, that's the good man. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, man, I want to watch this. I'm jealous, dude. They're so good. Do they ever say "good man" in the movie? No, they don't. That's a big oh, disappointment. That sucks. Yeah, but that's I mean, they're filled down. with like basically every trope that you know from the '80s. You know, like there's another one I watched, Code of Honor, last night, and it opens up with you know 
like a bunch of different types of gangs meeting in some meeting area. You know, so there's bikers and then like Cholos and then black eyes and then Russians and they meet. And they, of course, have briefcases and they're like, you got the stuff. And it's like, I want to see the money first. Right, right, you know? right, right, right. And it's like, I don't even know where you buy a suitcase anymore. Yeah, yeah. Like that, how much the, the props <laughs> department spent days yeah. looking for a suitcase <laughs> to put that money in. Um. I this is at this point this is like an anecdote like a triple f- you know filtered down anecdote. I was it was Sylvester Stallone on a different podcast, but still we're talking about Seagal. He said Stallone said that he was like in Hollywood or whatever and he saw Seagal crying. It was at a studio. He saw Seagal crying on like a stoop and he was just like he's like what are you crying? What are you crying for, Steven? What are like, you crying? About? Yeah, and he's like I just read the most beautiful screenplay I've ever read in my life. And there's like, "Oh my god, who wrote it?" And he's like, "I did." <laughs> 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 and I just choose to believe that's yeah, true. Yeah, that's 100% right. true. Yeah, well, I, I was saying me. I tweeted at him, I really want to write a movie where Steven Seagal kills James Bond. And I don't you want to license Putin James to Bond. Produce yeah, that. yeah, you could make yeah. that in Russia and there could He's be a, best friends with Putin. Yeah. You could yeah. do it and you just imply really heavily that it's James Bond without No, I want to use the name James Bond. <laughs> Who's this James Bond motherfucker? <laughs> Nobody says their name twice to me. I'm Guilan Can we just make a shitty action movie? Yeah, maybe. That would I mean, be awesome. As shitty as those movies look, they still cost probably $4 million. I know, but million you know what I'm saying. Just like, right. whatever, Let's dude. Let's do we a just, feature like this. We'll rent yeah. some Humvees. It's not that yeah, hard. Dude. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we got to take guns. a break. Uh, uh, we have messages. Oh shit! I don't even know if I should say that. But wait, we're taking a break. We'll be right back. Uh, goodbye. Hey guys, Nick here, the original cum boy, the leader, the gearhead, uh, the worst one on the show, the one that should probably kill himself. And I have a special message just for listeners of Cum Town. Guys, if you know me, you know I'm one of the people that pulls their pants all the way down to pee at the urinal. And no, it's not because I have a neurological disorder. It's actually because I'm trying to show off my fancy underwear. That's right, folks. I've got good underwear, and I got it at MacWeldon.com. And uh, I went online, and it was really easy to just go to their website and order underwear directly from them without the shame and humiliation of having to go into a store and explain to you know cashiers and all the customers that I had to replace my old underwear because I don't know how to wipe myself. I'm a very impatient wiper. So uh, to order online, it was great for me. It was one of the easiest shopping experiences I've ever had. And they're the most comfortable underwear I've ever owned in my life. Uh, and they got other stuff, too. They got some crew necks, scarves, socks. Uh, they got a silver line of underwear and undershirts that are naturally antimicrobial, which is a scientific term, which means they eliminate odor so you don't have to brush your teeth anymore, I'm pretty sure. Um, and I, I stopped doing that, actually. And they've got socks and uh, underwear, crew necks, scarves, uh, hoodies that look good for any occasion. You know, I'm talking, you know, staying in, gaming, maybe going out, maybe coming back home to game more, you know, going to the store, maybe going to a bris. You can wear these clothes to a brisk, people. That's how nice these are. These are brisk clothes. So, MacWeldon.com, check them out. Use promo code CUMTOWN, C-U-M-T-O-W-N, to get 20% off. And tell you what, if you don't like your first pair of underwear, you can call them up, complain about it, and uh, they'll refund your money, and you can go ahead and uh, keep that pair of underwear. It's on the house. Uh, Check them out, MacWeldon.com. And we're back. Woo! And we're still watching Shark Tank. The next episode starts in 14 seconds. And I from what I can one. tell, it's two young black girls, both wearing shirts with pictures of watermelon on them. <laughs> oh, geez, so that's true. So I can only imagine what kind of awful shit I'm going to say. <laughs> that is true. Here's my idea for Shark Tank. It's a bicycle that sucks your dick. They already have those, dude. No. Well, they have a bicycle that has a dick in the seat. No, no, no. It's a connected exactly. to the pedal. And I'm talking a flashlight. You move you're, you're and it bobs. You're not listening. This is the opposite. It bobs up they, and down. They have that. They have one with shit. a head on it that moves back Does and it? forth. Yeah. Fuck. Fuck. I'm devastated. Yeah, dude, you're just not rich. good at business. The, what I'm, it not, means is dude, you, I'm not a business no. man. You just have stick to, to, stick to pussy eating comedy. <laughs> <laughs> I, I your, do want to be the world's foremost pussy eating comedian. I think comedian. you are. I think you are. I don't think anybody else is has trying to that carve market. out that niche. <laughs> yeah, you've got that handled. Thank yeah. you. Thank you, guys. That means a lot. For me, it's more of a lifestyle decision. That She really is wearing a shirt with a, a, Life a, a, a watermelon on it, dude. Nick. <laughs> Chill, dude. Chill out. I am being chill. I'm just saying. I mean, (laughs) the sharks are going to notice that. They're sharks. (laughs) Are they not going to say anything about that? You're right. That's blood in the water. Yeah. Delicious, sugary blood in the water. Um, 
Sorry, I know I'm stuck on it, but I'm stuck. I'm st- it's a <laughs> sassy cares? looking watermelon. All right. <laughs> This this would be the best. Way I don't to troll get it. Nick. It's just a fruit. What are you talking about, Nick? <laughs> yeah. What, what, this would honestly this be the best way to troll Nick. Yeah. Oh, just yeah, bring yeah. something like this in the room, <laughs> and then no one comments. Like, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. What are you and everyone about, be man? like, <laughs> Yeah, convince no. me I'm having like a schizophrenic. <laughs> <episode>. <laughs> what are you talking about, man? Uh, <laughs> no, they, their counter offer is just white women. <laughs> <laughs> These ladies are. Uh, uh, it's two white ladies selling something called soulmates. Oh yeah. And it's soul S O L E, not S O U L, the black version, which is no. the other girls. Yes. There it's um you pour Jerry Curl solution into you know your what shoes. I had stuck in my head for like a week. You know that song Soul Man? Yeah. yeah I'm a but, soul but it's man. I'm a gay man. Yes, yes. Mm-hmm. How, wh- how might it go? <laughs> I'm a gay man. <laughs> oh, that's from that movie, the, the Gay Brothers? Yeah. <laughs> the gay, the gay Brothers, Brothers 2000. <laughs> <laughs> Where you just suck off 2,000 guys and yeah, yeah. brothers <laughs> fuck 2,000 men. Yeah. Their hats Real. are glued to their heads with cum. <laughs> Also, the movie Dome Heads, where they have regular heads, but they suck each other's dicks. <laughs> <laughs> and the family loves Woo! sucking. <laughs> Hell yes, Dome Heads, bitch. Yeah. Um, what else? What else? Dan Aykroyd stuff like we can make gay. Um, uh, second titty. <laughs> uh, but it's a fat man's tits. Ghost nut busters. <laughs> I love it so far. Yeah. But Ghostbusters is a movie starring women. Yeah, it is. Was, what That's do you right. mean? They actually deleted all the copies of the original <laughs> Ghostbusters. They Wait. Just, they had Kristen Wiig go from city to city burning every DVD <laughs> Ghostbusters. That's what they're doing yeah. at the Million she Woman March. She menstruated all over them and <laughs> yeah. ruined it. So if you put it in your DVD player, it explodes and destroys your man cave. <laughs> Replaces no, everything. Man cave. Everything in your man cave gets replaced with scented candles. <laughs> it just <laughs> turns your son gay if yeah, you yeah, watch yeah. the old Ghostbusters. And needlepoint, needlepoint motivational. <laughs> <laughs> Home is where the heart is. Um, fuck, what was I going to talk Oh, here's something I want to talk about. Me and Ben were discussing. How Do you guys think Bernie fucks good? Bernie Sanders? Yeah. Sanders? I think Bernie I fucks think good. I think he's all sure. elbows. I think he fucks good. I think it's a lot of foreplay. I think Bernie's really... Well, I think that... I, I read a thing about how he... How, how, yeah, just what he's like playing see, Amber, basketball. Amber looked disgusted at Adam with his elbows comment. Yeah. Well, She's I, not on mic. I, we, <laughs> we're maxed out at four mics with the current <laughs> gear set up. Listen, I was planning on purchasing something where we'd have additional inputs, but instead I got PlayStation. <laughs> but, Dude, we should but, get a giant but, studio. But... Two uh, two controllers for the PlayStation. That's true. Yeah, we so can always I was play. thinking about other people. We can play FIFA all the time together. <laughs> yeah, um, I think Bernie fucks good, man. And I honestly, I, I'd like to think I fuck like Bernie. Um, you fuck I, like Bernie, Adam. You fuck like Hillary, Nick. Yeah, you're selfish. When <laughs> what do you, you mean, fuck. children? I fuck <laughs> yeah, children. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, full of pizza. <laughs> Yeah, you, yeah, exactly. You mean you fuck children? As much I heard that his his basketball game is all well. It's all hustle and all from elbows. Who? who did you hear it from? There's someone. Someone did a like a. I think it was a Desbin thing about like they asked the guys that. He, so you read? He about plays it. pickup. Yeah. Hearing means like you know guys that play basketball with Burlington. Yeah, yeah. I just hung out at the Burlington, Vermont <laughs> yeah, YMCA. Y- <laughs> yeah. And there was like an old man there in the corner. He was kind of like a this bagger. This the fence. rock. <laughs> I played. I'm open. Yeah. I'm, I'm open, you fucking stooge. What do you guys I like, think? I like, I like your mafia Bernie Sanders impression. <laughs> Is that a good Bernie? Stooge. Yeah. Um, uh, in, in my perfect socialist world, everybody gets free gabagool. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great character, Italian Bernie Sanders. Yes. Well, my favorite character. Maron, the one percent. <laughs> <laughs> Oof, Maron, these taxes. <laughs> Bernie San, San Deduccio. <laughs> San Deduccio Leone. <laughs> my favorite character is rapist Jay Leno still. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hmm, come here, bitch. Mm. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, you think you're going to wait yeah, for Jay? Yeah, it's a No, I mean, yes. Come here, it's Dodge Viper. <laughs> I'm going to have sex with you. I guess you no, will. There's no exit in this garage. <laughs> <laughs> I've got 19 trucks to hide you in. <laughs> so he's probably, a ba- he's probably bad at sex because he's a car guy, right? Jay Leno's not good at fucking. Oh, he's yeah, definitely yeah, yeah. bad at sex. Yeah, yeah. No yeah. way is Jay yeah. Leno good at fucking. I love that fuck scene in Gone in 60 Seconds <laughs> where they're like making childish fucking uh, uh, double entendres at each other. 
Yeah, like the stick shift. Who Angelina and Angelina uh, and, uh, and Nick and Nick Cage. Yeah, I've never seen Gone in sixty seconds. Oh, we should watch that. Dude. Yeah, movies. that movie is a piece of shit. <laughs> yeah, it's really it's so bad. weird because Nicolas Cage only does like, good the movie. best good movies. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. it's funny when they let Nicolas Cage be Nicolas Cage, the movies are amazing. That's true. You know, have you seen uh, uh, Kiss Kiss of the Vampire? Yeah, mm-hmm. Vampires. What is it called? Yeah, uh, Embrace of a Vampire. Something like that. No, it's Kiss of a Vampire. Kiss of Vampire. There's also Embrace of a Vampire, Incredible. which has Alyssa Milano naked in it. Oh, oh we've talked yeah, about this. Yeah, yeah. Extremely length. naked. It's awesome. It's fucking so. good good yeah. and i i know i say I beat off to a lot of things but i remember <laughs> specific beat off sessions to this piece of mark it down to this piece Open of put on the spreadsheet, spreadsheet will <laughs> god i love i love embrace for my dude her titties are so out yeah you know what's the best Alyssa milano movie is like that made for tv joey botafuco movie yeah where she plays uh with amy fisher yeah 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 never saw it beat off to charmed though what yes Beat off to Charmed. To Charmed. That, was, that other girl was in there too. Uh, but, they were did all you have the candle charmed. in your ass while you were no. doing that also? No. I well, have a maybe. question about I tried it a couple times. Yeah. yeah. I guess, you candle... know what's funny about the candle in the ass thing is that immediately became a scented candle afterwards. <laughs> 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 it's not the kind of scent oh, you boy. want. But... A stanky candle. Yeah. <laughs> what's your question about the candle, Ben? When You must have been thinking about Stifler. Yeah, I was thinking about the nurse putting he, fingers his in his fan, ass. He has his eyes closed, and it's like Stifler, like, "Come hang out with me, Star Wars." <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, yeah, thank you, Stifler. <laughs> nah, dude, because the Star nurse is so cool. <laughs> yeah, I just I'm willing to go gay for friendship when I was 11 years old. <laughs> Actually, probably I probably could have been talked into like sucking someone off to be friends with them. Yeah, hey, we've all been there. Yeah, like right you know? now. Do you guys want to suck each other off? You know, nobody wants to hang out with you at the lunch table. <laughs> yeah. How are you going to do it? Do what you got to do. Right. Um. Put on some knee pads and you make friends. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Dip your fucking, f- uh, just use chocolate milk as lube. Why? Because <laughs> that's what you got at the lunch table, dude. Oh. Yeah, come on. You going to go mayonnaise? I guess probably mayonnaise. In this terms is- of, if you had to be at lunch, all right, <laughs> using only cafeteria This is like stuff. a pile of 13. <laughs> yeah, yeah, this is like, all they had. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Apollo sixty nine. <laughs> <laughs> what would make the best lube? I guess it is mayonnaise, right? Well, is there I, like salad dressings? You know what I always liked about you know how they say space is a vacuum, and mm-hmm. I'd like to imagine astronauts on the space shuttle, and then someone on this like the space shuttle is like, well, you know, space is a vacuum, and an astronaut's like. What? <laughs> and they're like, yeah, it's a vacuum. And then he immediately like sticks his dick out of the airlock <laughs> to get sucked off by space. <laughs> it's oh. also like oh. 100 oh. degrees below zero. Or yeah. Yeah. He just freezes his That's dick what I like. A nice off. cold blowjob. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, yeah, put the ice. Well, people say you put ice in your mouth and suck dick or, yeah. or whatever. Well, you know they got. They, I mean, they you know have always, to jack off somehow. In I always space. love that term uh, mm. uh, Eskimo brothers or whatever. Yeah. And it's like, do you think any Eskimos know about that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what are the Eskimos yeah. up to? Yeah. Yeah. Well, the Eskimo <laughs> language running is trains? Just, well, The Eskimo language is people going, uh, oh, snow, 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 yeah. snow, yeah. snow, 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 words for snow. Yeah. <laughs> oh, they're, that's the only word they have. Yeah. <laughs> um, you, there are actual Eskimo brothers, you know? Yeah. What do you mean? I mean, like, there are In Eskimos their who have brothers. Sometimes they have brothers. Do yeah, they ever? Do they fuck the same? Do they yeah. only exclusively fuck? The same? Are you allowed to fuck <laughs> yeah, yeah. your brother's wife in Eskimo culture? Is that why it's like? Yeah, that? that's why they call it. Yeah. Did you fuck my wife? Did you fuck my wife? <laughs> or, um, you ever? What about a snowball fight? You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Remember it's to come. You both you, get your you cum snowball. in your own mouth, yeah. and then you and then you spit you into each other's yeah, yeah. mouth. Yeah. Ah. The What's the Eskimo fight? word for that, folks? <laughs> <laughs> right in. Let us know. Isn't that also just a retarded thing? Like some idiot went to. Uh, you know, and just like they have different, like we have sleet or slush or ice. And yeah. she was just a fucking idiot, and or he was an idiot. Or yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's like they have thirty words for snow. It's, it's like, fifty, no. right? Whatever the fuck it is, I don't think that's even true. I think that's just some stupid ass anthropologist, right? Yeah, um, yeah Margaret Mead, stupid yeah, dumbass bitch. Yo, speaking of funny shit from sociology and college and shit, I remember I was in one of my classes. There, like one sociologist went to. uh I was reading a chapter of a book, and one sociologist went to like a fucking some culture in like Papua New Guinea or some little island like that, mm-hmm. and like it was just like if you, if you bonded with like a little boy, he sucked your dick. Like that was like 
cool and that was like yeah. the fucking fun thing to do over Wait, there. Philly, you're talking yeah, about? Yeah, you went to Philadelphia. <laughs> Everyone's like, you can't dick. judge it though, because it's the culture. Yeah, it's it's just, and some little kid tried to suck the guy's dick while he was over there, and he was like, "Nah, I'm good, dude. I yeah. got a wife." And he's like, "Oh, it doesn't matter. We're just friends." <laughs> it's like that. Just a thousand years ago, whoever was like the leader of that island was a pedophile, and yeah. then he just got to. Well, do Greece it. was like that. Yeah. Well, no, that's how you you learn quicker if someone <laughs> yeah. fucks you in the ass. Yeah, no, yeah Japan no, was like completely that. Like samurai, the samurai, samurai all had boys. Yeah. yeah, that's just some pedophiles were in power and just like this makes it easier to learn. <sighs> yeah, it's awesome. Yeah, how does that start? I think it's literally that. I think people just someone likes to fuck, but then so many people just go along with it. <laughs> like he's just is like, all right, I guess I'll get yeah, sucked dude, off by that's, this kid. That's what culture is, man. Damn, dude. Whoa. Yeah, man. Fuck, dude. Um, I mean, I guess that's normal. Uh, you know, we like to do weird things in this culture, right? Yeah, like what? You know, yeah, like name one thing that we do that's weird in this culture. We drink like milk from other animals, oh, bro. Dude, what? That's fucked, up. <laughs> that's fucked up, man. Dude, it's like you fuck Some people it. fuck dogs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that seems kind of tight though. What if there was a coffee shop in New York that had breast milk? Like they were like breast milk only. I'm surprised that doesn't exist. Yeah, that should be a thing. Louis I, Katz I like that, drank I like breast that, milk. That what uh uh Peak uh, like Lena Dunham brand feminism mid last year when people were making yogurt and bread in their vagina. Oh yeah, yeah, that was. The thing. It was like this is empowering, and it's like for for who? Yeah, this is weird as <laughs> shit. Who, who is that empowering for? Oh shit! The CrossFit Games just oh, came shit. on. Well, how is this still Shark Tank? All these hard bodies, dude. Yo, dude, that's me. If somewhere there's a sexy ass shredded woman that like wants to beat up a fat man and humiliate Jesus, look him at that sexually. woman's delts, dude. Um, just holler at me at Stavi Baby on Instagram. S T A V V Y Baby. Why is what is cross like? Why is CrossFit? Why is it? I don't even get get. People it. just want to work out because it's more involved than a regular gym. It's just more they have like they, because yeah, here's the thing: Commer- the way commercial gyms work is you sign up for a membership. There's all these bullshit fees, and then they say you know like oh, and you can get a personal trainer also, and you've already spent so much fucking money on the initial membership that you're like. No, I don't need that. I don't need any extras. You already charged me a $100 additional sign-up fee. So they have the gym membership, and they go once or twice, and they don't know what the fuck they're doing, and then they get discouraged, and they never go back. With CrossFit, like the first time you go there, you know exactly what you're doing. So it's like having a personal trainer, but it's not like that mm-hmm. weird one on Because anybody that has a personal trainer at the gym looks like a fucking asshole. Yeah. You yeah. know, you go to a commercial gym. It's for like, you know, divorced men that have never done a push-up in their life. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And, and they're you know, trying to fuck at 40 for the first time. Right. Damn, I kind of want to do that, though. I want to fuck. Yeah. I want to get a personal trainer to teach me how to fuck, dude. Isn't your brother a personal trainer? Yeah, but he lives in fucking Frostburg. Yeah, Skype him in. Skype him <laughs> in. Yeah. <laughs> Just wear a fucking... Wear I'm wearing a, a GoPro. Pro. No, you yeah. Skype yeah. into his gym. Oh, yeah. true. And then you just watch the exercise. <laughs> <laughs> you could be his, like, PhD thesis, dude. My yeah. fat brother. <laughs> turn, turn my fat brother into a sexy fucking ripped bro. I mean, I'm sexy, don't get me wrong, but I want to be ripped, dude. I want to be strong. I want to fight people. Wouldn't it be cool to just be physically stronger? I than think everyone? they should do that, dude. I, I like. I'm not really into to mixed martial arts. I never got into UFC or anything, but I would watch it if they only had people that were completely out of shape. <laughs> because there's more on the line there. Absolutely. You know? Like I, I, I'm not really worried about you know two guys that look like they know how to fight. If it was two people that could possibly die. Yeah, you know, from a stroke I would or do something. That. that would be. I would fight another similarly out of shape fat man. This is yeah. like similar. It's like bum fights. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, fat fights. We should do it. That was based in in Vegas. When I was bum fights. Up. Bum fights. Was yeah. Kimbo from Vegas? How about no? Cum Kimbo fights. is in Florida. <laughs> Cum, <laughs> Cum fights. fights. Yeah. Just fat guys fighting. I like that. I yeah. like that a lot. We Vegas gotta, produces a lot of garbage, huh? Yeah, really bad. It was really <laughs> bad sucks, growing dude. up there. Yeah, yeah. Wait, why terrible. did your family move to Vegas? Uh, I don't know. To, I don't to, know. To hit it rich. Yeah. No, I mean, we, yeah, they we were lived in L.A. Rich. No, they weren't. <laughs> no. You said your parents were like millionaire architects. No, prior they, to that. They, they were not. They lost. They, 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 uh, yeah, they moved they to Vegas. Because it was like blue collar architects. Oh. 
They fl- they fled South Africa, right? No, uh, they yeah they 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 uh it was like the fastest growing city in America. Vegas, they, yeah, but for, by weight until <laughs> they just read the article wrong. No, until like, it's the fattest place in the country. <laughs> the fattest growing city. Yeah, I mean it was it was weird growing up there. I mentioned I don't think I talked about it in the last episode, but like. The only thing you could do at 18, because you couldn't go to the strip, you couldn't gamble, you couldn't do anything, was go to strip clubs. So me and my friends would just go in the middle of the desert, get high, and then we'd be bored, and then we'd be like, all right, let's go to the titty bar. Right. And then we'd go to the titty bar, and we'd just be too stoned, and then there'd be like some lady with fucking stretch marks, you know, dancing to Puddle of Mud, and it'd be <laughs> so fucking depressing, you know. <laughs> we'd go to fucking Little Darlings and see some lady, you know fucking dancing did you ever fuck a prostitute in vegas while you were young no never no No? i I wouldn't know what to do what take her take her to my parents house (laughs) (laughs) i feel like your dad would be cool with that no he would not (laughs) i may i don't know yeah no maybe no they wouldn't be cool with it but uh (laughs) they would not of course they would imagine going (laughs) to your fucking family's home hey mom this is a fucking whore (laughs) i'm gonna go fucking upstairs while you do dishes and shit that would be so awesome yeah i I think they'd be confused at first (laughs) (laughs) what are you talking no i wouldn't say that it was a prostitute i'd be like this is you know this This is is my friend yeah nastasha yeah she's uh yeah, a, a Russian uh, 18-year-old girl with braces. <laughs> yeah. She uh. definitely did not come here in, in a shipping container, <laughs> like in the season two of The Wire. She definitely... Uh, <clears throat> I met her, yeah. No, it was... Uh, it was Yeah, it was a weird place to grow up, for sure, yeah. But then I moved to the East Coast, and everyone thinks I'm from New Jersey, so... Really? Yeah, because I'm Jewish or you're whatever. Jewish, yeah. Because yeah, yeah. you're Jewish and annoying. Yeah, and yeah. It has Jersey written all over it. I guess so. Is that <laughs> yeah. it? Long Island? Yeah. yeah Not yeah. quite Long Island. They're more fucking like... No, there's a bunch of, you know... People think you're from Long Island. J-O-O's out there. No, too. I know, but, yeah. but I don't pick up Long Island from you. Cause you get Jersey? It's Well, not even either of those, but I feel like Long Island's more obnoxious, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was watching uh, that Deep Water Horizon movie with my friend from Long Island yesterday, and he kept saying, uh, "You want to watch this Deep Water Horizon movie?" Deep he, like, Water. Yeah, he says like the Philly way. I guess in Long Island they say Dude, Water as well. Philly is so trashy. I was there <laughs> yesterday. They talk exactly like Dundo. Like they have the same fucking terrible. Yeah, accent. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's Mid Atlantic. Yeah, it's, it's a Delaware it's a talks place. that way too. And Philly cheesesteaks suck my dick. Also, they're not. Well, good. No, there's good ones there. Yeah, but it's they, just not Pat's or Gino's. Pat's or Gino suck dick. Yeah. yeah, they're bad. They're horrible. I go to Gino's because I order in fucking English. Absolutely, yeah. Politically, I stand with Gino's. Yeah, yeah you gotta it go to Gino's. It would be great Gino's. to go in there and order an Italian and see if they kick you out. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, I want a sandwich there. Yeah. Oh, I bet cheese. you didn't think of that, Gino, did you? Yeah. <laughs> or go into Pat's and order in Irish, I guess, or a potato. just the N word over and over yeah. here. <laughs> Is that an Irish? Is that no, an Irish? Bad, well, did Pat, they bring Patrick, that over? I don't know. I don't know. Probably <laughs> yeah, not. Probably Irish. Yeah, yeah. Did we talk about how the there there was another one? One of the other famous ones was just called Chinks Steaks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was a fucking- Dude, and it changed its name to Joe's in 2012. <laughs> <laughs> it was chink steaks that entire time it was just- and the backstory was that because I when I first saw it I was like that's got to be a mistake yeah, you know yeah, yeah, there's yeah. no way it's called chink steaks yeah. and then the backstory is is that the guy that owned the place as a kid he looked sleepy yeah. so his nickname was chink yeah, he just had fucking. So it's like, not racist. It's a white guy being called Chink. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because he, he looks like sort a chink. Of Chinese yeah, eyes. Right. That was cool. the story there. Sorry, I was enthralled by uh, this guy that's just trying to sell chocolate on Shark Tank. He's just selling Kinder eggs. They're all crying. They're always crying. They I say he's good. He started off crying. Yeah, no, he. Is he gonna get it? Oh, they're Shark Tank Kinder Eggs? Yeah, but they're, the Kinder Eggs are illegal in the United States. He found a loophole. Found a loophole. What is it? Uh, you put gasoline in the chocolate so it <laughs> counts yeah. as fuel. Yeah, yeah. And that way you can uh, get past the FDA. Wait, why are Kinder Eggs illegal in the United States? Yeah. Because kids were taking the balls out of the chocolate and putting them in their ass, <laughs> and it was getting stuck in there. God damn it, stop! Yeah. You ruin everything. Right. Was, no, what if candles after were trip? illegal in the United <laughs> States because of one boy <laughs> on a road trip? 
Oh, How man. wide of a candle are we talking? That's what I was about to ask. Yeah. It was like a... It was like a like, Shabbos candle. Not it was a, a little... Was it an entire menorah? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Did I say candle? It was Liberace's candle opera. It was a Roman candle <laughs> that I put in and on, set on, off into my ass. Um, it was like a fucking little uh, communion candle type of thing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it was one of those candles uh, in the in the commemoration room in the Holocaust Museum. <laughs> it was like, I'll yeah. fucking, you know, did you guys ever... But when he I said, mean, when he said I watched Orthodox. Road Trip, he was confused and meant I was on a road trip with my class yeah. to the yeah. Holocaust Museum. <laughs> yeah. And I put a candle in my ass. But I'm sex And I call my so ass the secret cool. annex. Thanks, man. Hmm? That was an Anne Frank joke. Oh, sorry. Fuck. Oh, oh sorry. yeah. Yeah. Oh, apparently she didn't get sold out. They just uh, revised that history. Does anyone do a bit about how, like, like uh, publishing her private diary is so much worse than being gassed by the Nazis? Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> that essentially her father was worse than the Nazis. And her situation. dad was it was the one who lived, the dad, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah dad yeah. was the one that's, that published Wait, really? It. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. he sold them all out. No. <laughs> no, 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 no. That'd be but so that'd be really awesome. good, wouldn't it? Apparently they didn't get sold out. Yeah, that what was happened? like the st- apparently it was just like a random. She got caught. Basically, got what caught, happened with yeah. Anne Frank was that uh, her father was indebted to the Russian mafia, <laughs> and so the Russian mafia had to sell Anne Frank to a Chinese pedophile, <laughs> and then Steven Seagal saved her. <laughs> yeah. Wow! Yeah, wow. Like, before you take her, I've yeah. never read her that. diary. I would love to see, you know, how funny it is that, like, Wahlberg makes, like, Deepwater Horizon in that Boston Marathon bombing movie. Yeah. If Stigall was doing the same thing, <laughs> where he stops 9-11, but he just refuses to get out of a chair. being <laughs> <laughs> in first class, and he's just, like, lazily reaching into the cockpit <laughs> and s- slap-killing everyone. <laughs> yeah, he loves to slap-kill. Yeah. That's his move. Yeah, and he's so lazy that the movie's just called 9-1. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not saying three numbers. <laughs> you only getting two numbers out of me. <coughs> oh, oh, I saw that movie. I saw Pedro's Day the other day. I went to the theater and I was like, I was like, I don't want to see Hidden Figures. I don't want to watch like a serious movie. And then I was like. Mark Wahlberg and Patriots Day. That sounds like it's probably like a dumb action movie. Was like, it I good? thought it was going to be like White House Down. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. it's like a really like realistic Boston Marathon bombing. Yeah, yeah movie. it's Pete Berg. And I just cr- I cried. Really? <laughs> I heard it's not bad. It's we actually gotta find these good. fucking yeah, yeah. Muslim kids that did this. It's surprisingly not, not as anti-Muslim as you'd think. Really? Yeah. Is the uh, the kid that <laughs> plays Nick's, jo- Nick's out? I yeah, hear the I'm kid. <laughs> yeah, it's not. It's not super. You don't. It's not super conservative. I, yeah, if, yeah. if Wahlberg doesn't wipe his ass with a turban, then I don't see it. <laughs> no, it do, he doesn't even yeah. say one slur in it. Yeah. In what? a Boston accent, it's got a lot of A-listers. He in does it. beat up uh, like about twelve More Vietnamese like a lot of in the process. Gay listers, <laughs> if you ask yeah. me, there's a lot of gay. Dude, list so <laughs> <laughs> the kid who plays yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice Man, <laughs> the hardest I've heard Nick laugh. Yeah, in we like got three weeks. <laughs> <laughs> we can't take breaks anymore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, it was pumping. It's so, yeah, yeah. It it's so upsetting yeah. sometimes. I think that's funny, dude. Gay list is hilarious. Gay list yeah. celebrities. No, I'm with you. Yeah. I'm totally uh, with I, you. Actually, I'm friends with a lot of gay list celebrities. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're on the gay list. Yeah. The, the Hollywood, gay list. Hollywood gay list. Yeah. yeah. Uh, how about a website called uh, Headline? Or, uh, sorry, Deadline. and it Or not Deadline, Headline. <laughs> <laughs> and it's a good head. <laughs> God damn. That's so funny. Anyway, I'm sorry. just, I keep getting distracted by fucking Shark Tank. Yeah, let's just selling popcorn. We should not be no, watching we're, shit. We're, we're done. We've done our time for this yeah. week. I think this has been a good episode. It actually is a good episode. Uh, let's got, plug the show. Uh, yes, the 23rd, this upcoming Monday, we have a show. Come on, everybody. Uh, great lineup. Great lineup. You got, uh, we're really lucky. Abby Rosenquist, Mike Leibowitz, Langston Kerman, very funny bros. Um, also, I wanted to fucking say, I'm on a benefit for Planned Parenthood uh, Friday, January 27th at Art Spaces PS109 um, I'll have my shit on Twitter and all that kind of stuff but yeah, yeah that's that's gonna be another good one and all the money goes to Planned Parenthood I went to a Planned Parenthood benefit at uh, the museum on the ceiling of or the roof of the museum it's a really nice spot. It was great. In DC. There were yeah. like senators there. Dana brought me. I was wearing basketball shorts. Mm-hmm. <laughs> they had an open bar and I just got trashed on the balcony. <laughs> and uh you Hell know, yeah, dude. I feel like I, I changed a lot of people's minds. Absolutely. About uh you know, abortion. Did, you were yeah, you, you went should, anti-abortion. You yeah. should have been aborted. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> well that no, they were on board with abortion. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um 
so yeah anyway so come to come to our show and then you know if you want to come to the Planned Parenthood thing we're raising money for uh you know, you yeah, know. and a lot of people have asked. The ticket link is now up on the website. It wasn't up until I think yesterday or something. Uh, we had a poster snafu. Apparently, the poster our friend made was a little bit racially insensitive. <laughs> you might as well tweet it, right? <laughs> the poster? No, yeah. it's not even racially insensitive. Uh, anyway, but the fact that I'm just, saying it was that just is, Chief Wahoo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we we just used the logo of the Washington Redskins. It was us in blackface, fake hanging ourselves, mm-hmm. which I don't get. What the point? What's so racist? About yeah, it was really art. just. It was so in- innocuous. <laughs> um, ben, you seem upset. I'm not upset. I'm, I was watching Shark Tank. Yeah. <laughs> um, anyway, all right. Well, that's it. You fucking. Should sluts. we riff on gay list celebrities? <laughs> 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 that really one was good. good for me. It was good. I like gay list. I'm yeah, like, yeah. The stuff that you. There's going to be. Really it's a charity towards. event. There's a lot of gay list celebrities. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be laughing about that for a week and a half. <laughs> uh, fuck. All right. Well, goodbye, everyone. Bye, All folks. Right. Later. Thank you.